In this video, I'll show you how to make a dried floral wreath. I'm going to start with this floral first, trimming small groupings of stems that will be the base layer of a series of floral bundles. Then, I'm going to add another type of dried floral to each bundle. Choosing floral with varied textures will give you the most interesting look. To add contrasting coloring, I'm going to add some of this floral next. To complete each bundle, I'm going to add some of these to a few, and some of these other stems to others, just to vary the look a bit. Then, I'm going to secure the bundles with wire. Though I'm only showing three, I made about 14 bundles for this wreath. And next, I'm going to secure the end of a floral wire spool to this plain grapevine wreath. Then I'm going to place the first floral bundle on the wreath and wrap the wire spool around the wreath a few times to secure it in place. Slightly overlapping the first bundle, place the next bundle and wrap the wire spool around the wreath to secure it as well. Continue this process until about one-fourth of the wreath is covered. Then we'll start working on the other side adding the floral bundles and securing them with wire just like we did before. Once I reach the top, I'm going to add a few shorter, leftover floral sprigs just to fill in. And then I'll wrap the wire around quite a few times to make it nice and secure. Then trim the wire from the spool and secure it to the wreath. Finally, I'm going to tie some of this rustic ribbon around the top of the wreath and give the ribbon ends a decorative cut edge. And here's the finished look. Welcome to my channel. I'm Christopher Heidemann and I love to decorate. Over the years, I've had a blast sharing a variety of craft and decorating videos. From cozy fall and spooky Halloween to warm and inviting Christmas. and other fun videos, including seasonal home tours, garden tours, simple desserts and treats, floral arrangements, and other projects to make your holidays and home even more spectacular.